Hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to review the new Markers Plus version 5 and we are going to explain just a little more what is Markers and what are we adding on this new version. First of all, we must check first if you already have Markers installed to know which is the current version, you can look, you can take a look at the input parameters. The first input parameter shows the version and the launch date of the current version. Markers is an indicator, it is not a strategy. So on Ninja Trader we can use it at the same time than Chart Trader. Uh, as you may know, when we have Chart Trader it is not possible to add a strategy. We need to disable chart radio to be able to add a strategy. The problem is that if we don't have chart trader, we cannot neither see or move the orders on the same chart that we are trading. So markers is an indicator that we can add on the chart that allows us to use at the same time than chart trader we can select an ITM and select it on markers tools so markers will use this ITM as you may know on the ATM is the trade definition the number of uh, targets the number of positions the trade size of each position the stop loss profit target and also the stop management that includes auto break even and trailing stop we can use three different levels of trailing stop and this is for each one of the three positions all this is saved into an ATM configuration that, that we can later use with markers to enter the market each time a, a target object is painted on the chart. On this example we can see that we have arrows on markers. We can select the objects that triggers an order. We can select it from this drop down menu. We have almost all used objects We can select an object to buy and an object to sell. We can also filter by color. On this example we are going long on arrow blues, blue arrows and going short on red arrows. We can also select an arrow up or an arrow down. We can ignore the color. We can leave this blank. So any arrow to the upside will trigger along, or we can select a color from the list. We have also different ways to enter the market. When one of the object, one of the trigger objects that may be painted by another indicator, by us or by one of the marker tools, when markers detect one of those objects, we have different ways to enter the market. For longs and for short, we can specify if we want to enter at market or waiting for price to go in somewhere specified for example when we get a red arrow if we want to enter in a pullback we can use for example the high of the signal bar plus an offset if we want the exact high we use zero for offset 
So at the arrow we look at the hive and then we wait with a limit order for a certain number of bars. In this number we specify how many bars we wait for the price to touch the entry level. Then the order is rejected. If we enter at market, those settings are ignored because the, it enters at the instant. There's no bars to wait. We can we have also the option to add filters. On this example we are looking at the slope of a linear regression and the condition is only taking longs if the slope is positive or bigger than that threshold and for short it must be lower than the same threshold but negative. We can enable or disable the filters on the toolbar this is new on version 5. Now we can enable the filters from the toolbar. On this example, on the histogram uh, below, we see the slope of a linear regression. And we are only taking short signals when the slope is negative. And taking only longs when this is positive or bigger than the threshold. The effect is that we can set a system, on this case is the super trend, very tight, producing more signal than usual, but only taking those that are aligned with the with this other condition. In this example is the slope of a linear regression. We can enable or disable the filter from the buttons instead of going to the input parameters as on the previous version. We can also specify an object to close position. On this example we are using red arrows to close a long and blue arrows to close a short. At the bottom right corner we can see the configuration. Entering long at blue arrows, closing the long at red arrows. Same for the short side. Entering short at red arrows, closing the short at blue arrows. The condition for the exit, the exit condition can be enabled or disabled from the toolbar also. If we have markers working on semi-automatic mode, we can see a, an M letter for manual. If we enable the following long, let's say that we are here. When markers detect a long object, markers enter the market using an ITM and the button gets disabled. So to take another trade, we need to click on a button again. This is a semi-automatic approach. If instead we have it set on automatic, the button remains locked always at the same position. So on this example, it, it will take all the short signals. All these red arrows will be executed as shorts using the specified ITM. If we also enable the filter, it will detect all the, all the arrows, but only entering on those where the condition is true, the, when the slope of a linear regression is smaller than the threshold. If we also enable the exit condition, when this arrow was detected and it shorted the market, the blue arrow is not triggering along, but it will be detected as an exit condition for the short.
so the effect is uh, with the exit condition enabled and only one side enabled it will short the red arrows and close on blue arrows short and close, short and close, short and close on each one of the red and blue arrows we can also add now that now on the new marker version when we install the new version we get a lot of new templates all templates are included for example the, the HMA crossover we only need to load the template and we have the setup ready then we can change the settings to fine tune our instrument and time frame the templates library is increasing day by day, by day. some of the templates may need uh, a custom indicator on the open close for example we don't need anything else it is a multi time frame uh, template this is the working chart configured to work on Unirenco and this setup paints arrows each time there is a color change on the bars and we have also a filter at the bottom it is not painted because I don't have the other chart created because it uses the same setup on a higher time frame to define the trend so for example on this downtrend it, it is only going to take shorts only these red arrows and on the uptrend it is only going to take the long signals because we, because we use the same setup on a higher time frame on a separate chart to define the train Some of the templates may need a custom indicator, like for example the super trend, but most of the new West templates don't need anything else than standard Ninja Trader indicators. For example, we have an a Heike Nashi open close. any bar color change produces a, a signal all this can be done with marker tools all these are the included tools with marker plus and this allows to detect any crossover of any line of any indicator and also their, their slope so we can com create a complete setup from creating the signals and filter the signals using any line of any indicator that we have installed on our platform hope this has been useful and interesting for you and if you have any question please post below this video thank you everyone bye bye